All right, welcome back. So we are finishing up a, just a quick sewing project here. Um, top stitch here, and then I'm going to move on to the bimini cover for the 18-foot sea ray, not the 21-foot. Sorry for that. Um, sometimes I tend to... Uh, so, yeah. So we have this cover here. And nice hair day. Nice hair day. I just like to, like I said, keep it folded up for my customers so it looks all neat when they get it, you know. But this is a great material. This they're using for an outdoor fireplace grill, uh, like a custom fireplace. And so, yeah. Just presentation is always a good thing. Then we're going to get right on to another little project. So check out that video. That one is the patterning where you need to do this before you do that. So, so yeah, I think you'll find that I have to say that a lot. I don't know why if it's just the uh, business. So there's a lot of... Um, Unboxing for the next person. So this is going to go over here, which you can't see that right now. But my next project, which we are getting ready to do, is the 18-foot bow cover. This is just a bow cover. Um, if you check out one of my other videos on my other social media, it's called Ace in the Hole. And that was another bow cover that was completed. And that video is coming soon because that was just completed. So I'm going to go ahead and unroll this fabric, um, which is what the customer chose. They chose to do a Sunbrella silica charcoal, marine grade quality. Let me just do it this way. This is a good color, good classy color, I should have to say. It's going to look very nice on this boat. It has the tans in there. Oops. This is charcoal silica. It's a medium. It's very good, actually. The more you work with it, it gets really soft and pliable. Um, this is charcoal, silica charcoal, made by Sombrella. This is only a 46 inch roll. This particular material only came in a 46 inch roll. Typically, when you do boat covers, the wider the better. Um, in this case, I couldn't do that, so we will have to be using a little more material in order to get the coverage that is needed. So go ahead and check out my other video, uh, the patterning one, which will kind of explain to you which way I am going to be positioning this on the boat. So first and foremost, my table is a mess, but it's work in progress. This table, when I do boat covers, is my vessel. And I'm always, now I'm at the aft, but looking at it, this is the view that I get to work with. So in that being said, I stand here at the aft and I always reference port side and starboard side just for the lingo. So if I talk about this, this is uh, projects on deck. What is on deck is the 18 foot Sea Ray boat cover and bow cover in a silica charcoal marine grade fabric by Sombrella. And then I will be using the button snaps, which is the black enamel here. We have the button and then we have the socket right over here. So this is uh, the look here. Let's just place it on the fabric so you can kind of see where it goes. Now, I'll show you something else in a second here. But here is, and I'm going to take a picture for my customer. Here is the fabric. So, we will pretend that a snap is going to go right there and of course a nice finished edge all along the bottom. That's going to be beautiful. Class act. 
And now also I need to make reference of some materials can be used either side. In this particular case, there's one way, as you can clearly see, uh, it looks the same on camera, but in person, right up front, this is the outside material here outside and this is the underside which you can only use the outside for this project. So we have two split panels here that I cut in half to combine these two panels together for um, the bow cover. So when you sew two pieces together you need to make sure that you sew them outside surface to outside surface. Uh, with this particular fabric, you can tell. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to mark a half an inch across the entire raw edge. Alright, so I will be now using some basting tape, a uh, half an inch or a quarter inch in this particular case. I'm just going to use a quarter inch. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So all I'm doing right now is just going to baste these two pieces together right here. I'm not really ready for that. And like I said, you want to stay close to the edge as possible. And I have learned over the times that if I were to use, this is a half inch seam, if I was to use a half inch basting tape it would cover all of that. This goes into the needle so the more glue you have, the more maintenance you have. So over the years of working with this and the experience, I have chose to, you know, use a little bit less. So it's going to hold, and then when I do so, it's going to be on that line, which will avoid the glue. Just a tip, you know, try it. And then I do use some clips to get the full um, secure hold. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to baste finish basting and when you do use this tape go along the edge because of the top stitch I don't want to see this tape at all we are ready to sew ahead and pull that. I'm just guiding it, keeping it a straight line.
Right along the line, we have a half an inch. That is half an inch. I'm going to be opening that up, the two patterns, and then I'm going to be doing a top stitch. So now I have sewn the two panels together. I'm going to be opening that up, and it's a beautiful story. Beautiful. So I'm going to be taking the ends of my uh, scissors, and I'm just going to be kind of folding down the top here. camera is on. And that's pretty easy to do. Um, then I just use my clips over here again, which I still have them under my sewing machine. And you just roll, you know, and that's just because this needs to go under the arm of the sewing machine. And then I like to just kind of it will fall into place. That's what's good about this material. You don't want it too, too big because you, know, you just don't. Now I will be starting up on that edge there. And then I just use these clips to kind of hold these down and I'll probably use the bigger ones. I didn't need all of them. Yeah, so, all right, easy enough here. So this makes it easier to go under the machine. That side I'm not really worried about. Um, you can just leave it however. You know, if you wanted to sew it, you, I mean, if you wanted to roll it, you could, you could do that.